Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Back in February, I got my first gel pedicure at the new Gloss Lab Salon in Westport, Connecticut. Let me know if you've ever had a gel pedicure. They're pretty amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen the reel that I shared documenting that experience, and you may have also seen my mini update in stories after the pedicure had been on my toes for over six weeks. So remember that gel pedicure that I got at Gloss Lab a few weeks ago? over six weeks ago to be exact you all told me that it would last me forever and it hasn't budged it is so grown out but there are no chips no lifting there's like a little discoloration just because i think of the color but i am shocked i've got to figure out how to remove this though like this is getting a little unattractive <laughs> Well, the pedicure is officially overgrown and it's time for me to remove it. As you can see, I already trimmed the toenails down. They were driving me nuts, but today I'm going to take off the polish. It's much less work than I anticipated and I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily DIY it. Before I began, I thought that maybe I could use my favorite gel remover clips. Fun fact, I could not. They would not fit or stay on all of my toes. I heard that they do make toe clips though, so I'll have to look into that, but I resorted to good old cotton balls, aluminum foil, and 100% acetone. I took my most abrasive file and began buffing down the surface of the polish. This was probably the most challenging part, at least for the big toe. It took a little bit of elbow grease, but soon I could see the shiny layer disappearing and the polish wearing thin. There was barely anything left on my other four toes, so those were pretty easy to work with. While this step isn't the most fun, it's the most crucial because the more polish you can file away, the faster the soaking process will be. Once I was happy with the filing, I took a cotton ball and ripped it in half. You don't need to use the whole thing. I soaked it in acetone and placed it on my toenail, and then I gently wrapped it with a piece of foil. Then I repeated this step on all of my toes. I'm not a fan of using foils on my fingernails because they're so hard to wrap using one hand, but toes are much easier since both of your hands are free. Be sure you're doing this over a towel, a rag, an old t-shirt, or something that's protecting your floor because there is a chance that when you wrap the foil tight, some of the acetone will seep out the bottom and ruin whatever your foot is resting on. Once all the toes are wrapped, we wait, but not for too long. After about 10 minutes or so, remove the foil and reveal all of your hard work. This is the best sight to see during this process. All of the polish has been loosened, lifted, and it's ready to pop right off. I'm using this scraping tool that I love, but you can use a cuticle pusher, a small spoon, a half moon tool, or even your fingers if the polish is loose enough. This is honestly the most satisfying part. When your toes are free of any remaining color, grab a gentle buffing cube to lightly smooth out the surface of each toenail. Right now, I like to take a cotton ball with some acetone on it and just clean up the toes, remove any of that dust, any lingering chips or polished pieces before we move on to an oil. Apply and rub in some cuticle oil and then you're done. You have successfully removed your gel pedicure in less than 20 minutes and your toes are now naked, free, and ready for a fresh pedi and a new color. I could not get over how easy this process was and how good my toes looked after wearing the same polish for nearly two months. P.S. I did film a pedicure video after this one, so check that out on my channel. It'll be live this week. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and leave me a comment sharing any other gel pedicure removal tips that you may have. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!